Two phones we know we can count on to tick every single box we have are Zenfone and ROG Phone. Asus has done a great job with these two in the past years and let me tell you, after the things I've heard about the 2022 models, you're in for a treat. What's cooking with the Zenfone 9 and ROG Phone 6? Only interesting things. These two will keep on being premium phones, backed up by the notorious Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Zenfone is going to push camera and productivity boundaries, while ROG is going to simply fight to keep its gaming king status. While there's been some competition in that area of late, I wouldn't worry too much. Asus hit it out of the park from the ROG Phone 2 and every iteration since has been better and better. Improved audio, battery and cooling system, plus a game center that's customizable as heck. Sure, Nubia and Lenovo have been picking up steam and honestly, if you're already a fan of those, there's no reason to switch to Asus. But if you're already a longtime user of their ROG devices, it's hard to turn a blind eye to this baby, the ROG Phone 6. Let's start with this one, okay? Asus is a couple of months away from launching it, so we won't know a lot for sure, but sketches of the phone are out in the wild. And hey, it's enough to get me excited and get some clues at the same time, like a bigger secondary display. The addition of one was weird to begin with, but if Asus wants to keep up at it, at least give us some more room, right? Well, this year, Phone 6 will have a larger one for notifications and animations. There's also a larger camera island at play, but still three cameras to work with. We should have at least a 64 megapixel main with an ultra wide and maybe a tally. I know we had a deal with a macro last year, but considering the direction of the industry, it would be a pity not to see a tally included. The flash now sits right next to it, too. The design of the bag seems a bit changed, but still edgy, as a gaming phone should look like. Besides the upgraded chip, we might see an upgraded refresh rate. Yes, 144Hz is nothing to complain about, but with 165Hz rates available, why not increase it? At least on the Pro model, if not the vanilla. The memory should top at 16GB like last year, and I'd be surprised to see Asus increase the battery capacity. After all, they've ruled in this arena for a while now. A 6000 mAh cell is in the cards with 65 watt fast charging. It's the type of battery and charging combo I'd love to see on the Zenfone too, but slim chances, guys. Last year's Zenfone topped at 4000 mAh, so I say let's be grateful for a 4500 mAh this time. We also have to bury the flip camera for good. Zenfone 8 ditched it, and seems like this year's model will do the same. A similar dual camera is in the works, and Surprise, surprise, a responsive back. Yes, the back of the phone will be tappable. Two taps should trigger one of a variety of actions. We're talking screenshot taking, camera opening or flashlight selection. What's interesting is the change Asus plans to make when it comes to cameras. If the sketches I've seen come true, then Zenfone 9 should feature a 50 megapixel main sensor with a 12 megapixel ultra wide next to it. Hopefully, the software will make that change less of a hit and miss and keep this phone in the top 2022 phones. Because, let me tell you, the rest of the specs should be top notch. You will have your generous screen with an equally great refresh rate. Not the 144Hz ROG Phone 6 will show off, true, but on 120Hz nonetheless. This will make streaming and video playback a joy. Just like its brother from another phone series, I expect a Zenfone 9 to offer up to 16GB of RAM. That's plenty to count on no matter how much you fuss with it or not. Audio may not be as big of a deal on this phone like on the ROG, but Asus will make sure it doesn't disappoint. You should get stereo speakers and maybe even a headphone jack from the get-go. Besides top-notch hardware, you know by now that flagship phones get the best iOS possible. These two won't be any different. They should launch in spring with Android 12. Now, that's all I know or can speculate after seeing the two phones first look. I'll definitely make sure to keep you guys updated as we find out more about camera upgrades and gaming goodies. What are you more excited about, Zenfone 9 or ROG Phone 6? Let me know. Thanks for watching and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. It really means the world to us. See you guys!